I got an idea. Uh oh, I got an idea. Ideas cost me money. Uh oh. What are you doing, buddy? What are you up to? Sit down, sit. Good boy. Why are you licking your lips? Why are you licking your lips? Gentle, gentle. Oh, there you go. Sometimes you just gotta give the dog a bone. What about you? Sorry, I got nothing for you. There you go, there's some of that bone. Okay guys, so here I am again at Pumpkin Paradise, yep, oh boy. Okay, so um, today I came up with, last night I came up with an idea. My mind doesn't stop guys, my mind does not stop. So I got this western red cedar block, I don't know what's that, like a foot across top and like a foot high here, western red cedar. Um, I got this block. I'm gonna quickly carve out a pumpkin, okay? It's not gonna be a tutorial how to carve a pumpkin. There's lots of other videos on my channel how to carve pumpkins. Kyle Hall just did one too. Check that out. Kyle Hall Woodworking Channel. But so what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna carve this pumpkin quickly. Just do a time lapse or whatever. And I'm gonna show sugi ban it. I hate that freaking word show sugi ban. It's an old Japanese term for burning wood, okay? I'm gonna burn it really, really, really deep, okay? And then I'm gonna use these things. You get these on my Amazon store, guys. If you go to the description below, they come in sets of three, orange, blue, and gray. I'm gonna use these to clean it up after I burn the hell out of it. And then, uh, oh yeah, Pete let me this uh, extender. It's like a drill bit extender. You guys can see that. For these things. Thank you very much, Pete. I think he might be making these. I'm not too sure yet, but this will keep you way less dirty. And um, then I'm going to Mod Podge it. I'll talk about the stuff when I get to the point. So let me carve it quickly and I'll take it outside here, burn the hell out of it, then bring it back in here and clean it and just keep going like this and like this and like this and like this until you get too dizzy and you want to go home and maybe put Mod Podge on it. Okay, bye. Did I say I'm going to be using the wood dye? This is water-based wood dye from Lee Valley here in Canada. If I didn't, anyways, I'll talk about it in a bit. We're going to do an orange color. Ben, over there at Studio on the Lake, those socks that you sent me, where'd you order them from? China? They're making my feet itchy. Ah. Okay, so you see here I got, I spent a lot more time on this pumpkin making it round and other than those blocky looking ones, right? Because like I said guys, this is going to be a show Sugi Ban. So I just want to say a few things and I'll try my best to make sense of it because sometimes this is how I get confused by trying to explain things, okay? So I cut these eyes in deeper because I'm going to burn the hell out of this whole thing, right? I cut the mouth in deeper. I even cut this way in deeper, right? Because when you burn it, you're going to lose. You'll see this lip. Look how sharp and crisp it is right now. But when I burn the hell out of it, especially the end grain, I'm going to lose lots of this detail, okay? So I sunk this in a bit too. When you do the Shosugi band, it's always, and guys, once again, it's my opinion. 
When you do the Shosugi bend, it's best to use the wider grain, you know, like fast growing wood. This grain's pretty tight grain, not super tight, but tight. So you're not gonna get as much of an effect from the Shosugi band with the tight grain, okay? Whiter grain, you get a way better effect. So another thing too, guys, on uh, Facebook, the world of wood carvers, I see lots of you guys burning your carvings and stuff like that. You gotta remember, when you're burning your carvings, you're burning away your detail. So if you're planning on burning your carving and doing the Shosugi band thing, like what we're doing today, make your nose extra big. Make your eyes, eyebrows extra higher. Make everything extra bigger because when you burn it, you're gonna burn away all that stuff. So if you make it extra big, by the time you're burning, done burning it and cleaning it, it's gonna be at normal size. Does that make sense? Okay, so not one more thing too I wanna to explain. This is, oh boy, I'm gonna get really confused trying to explain this. When you do the Shosugi band, it's always best to do face grain, okay? The whole outside of this pumpkin is face grain, okay? You see how it's layered? Okay, let's see here, let me get right here, okay? See how that's layered? That's face grain. That's gonna give you the best, here, perfect example right here. That's gonna give you the best effect, okay? So you're, when you, like, pretend when I cut out these eyes with my chainsaw, I'm cutting into layers of the wood, okay? There's, I'm getting confused. So this going this way inside the wood, that would be edge grain, okay? So, okay, so this, you guys, you know, if you go to the hardware store and you buy yourself a two by four or a two by six, this would be face grain. See how it's kind of layered? But when you look at the board, this would be edge grain, okay? So when you carve this face grain, you're, you're carving into layers. Pretend there's paper layers, one layer, two layer, three layer. This is just you're carving the paper sideways. So when you do it this way, you get a way better effect. When you do it this way on the edge grain, all you're gonna see is those lines, okay? You're not gonna get the, the native effect of it, right? So this would be face grain. How it's, you see a layer here, a layer here, then it goes off to edge grain. Do it the face grain, guys, okay? You're gonna get a way better effect. And um, okay, that's just my opinion. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this pumpkin out here set it up on that stump, sit there for about 30 billion years and burn the hell out of it with this uh, propane torch. I just got this cheap torch off Amazon. It's a piece of junk. I hope it's not on my Amazon anymore, store anymore because I gotta take it off. I gotta buy a better torch, but yeah, so I'm gonna burn it, okay? Oh, first of all, before I burn it, I'm gonna spray paint in the eyes black and in the mouth black, okay? And then here black, and then down these sides black too, guys. Just and I'll burn the paint. If it stays, it stays. If it goes, it goes. It doesn't matter. If you're burning paint, wear a mask, okay? <laughs> okay guys, all jokes aside, you can see here with the torch, see those hot coals? That's how that's how hard it deep I'm burning it. And you see how they start splitting? They call that, I don't know, crocodile skin or something, the pros, whatever. Shosugi band pros. Um, so you can see like how here how deep I'm burning it, right? You guys, it's easy to burn away all your detail. The bro carvers just do a light burn just to get rid of the fuzzies quickly, then quickly sand it. But this we're doing a deep, deep burning. You can see right there, right? Look, look how red look how red the coals are getting see it's all cracking yep okay guys see how that's burning really hot and you got the alligator effect there that's what they call it whoever does alligator skin so when you get smoldering like this and it's burning away all your detail have a water bottle by just give it a spray you know It'll put it out, stop from smolding and burn away all the detail, right? So, so for here example, before I even burn this part, I'm gonna spray it, get it wet, so it burns a lot slower, right? And you don't burn away all the detail. I have a fire extinguisher right there, so whatever, burn. Okay guys, 
So before I start talking about this anymore, just make sure you're safe when you're using the fire. You don't have fire extinguishers and just be safe. And you guys, this is a whole round, right? So the center of the pith or whatever it's called, the hardwood is here. So it's a good chance this thing might crack. You know, big check down here. You can see little cracks from burning. This crack here might go all the way down. I don't care. I'm just trying to show you guys the Shosugi band thing, right? And get this pumpkin done. So you can see here, once again, that's what they would call alligator skin effect. I think it cool, looks cool just like that. Like if you put a clear on there, that's a pretty creepy looking pumpkin, but that's not the purpose of this video. So you guys, I want to try and explain something. Wood grain has its own character, okay? Each grain is for, say if the grain's this big, each grain is a year of the tree's life, okay? There's a hard, so, in each, each grain, there's a hard, hard spot and a soft spot, okay? The hard spot is for winter time, where the wood gets hard. When it's growing, it's harder wood. The soft spots, the summertime, where it's softer and it's, I don't, just, I don't know, softer enjoying summertime, I don't know. So there's a hard spot in the wood grain and a soft spot, okay? Repeat, Jordy, I know I repeat myself, sorry. So, you guys, you can't use sandpaper when you use something like this, okay? You can use that, uh, what's that, uh, bristle stuff, that scrub, uh, green, uh, uh, scotch bright stuff, you can use that. But what I suggest, my opinion, is use these things, guys, okay? They're little flap things. This is the extender Pete let me use today. It's just a drill bit that's in here, right? Pretend it's a drill bit, it's the same fitting. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so it's just the end of the like a drill bit for these things. And this is a drill bit extender. Okay, so anyways, I'll put this back on after. So now, the more that you take this thing, they come in three different grits, hard, soft, medium. I think this might be the medium. The more that you take this and clean it up, the more you're going to get the dark spot, which is the harder, and the light spot, that's the softer wood. Okay, let me get started on this. And as as it progresses I'll show you but the more that you use this the better effect is going to be on the pumpkin okay you'll see Okay, so yeah, it's a dirty job. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, so, uh, but it's not as dirty with that extension on that drill. Thanks, Pete. So let's look at this pumpkin here. Okay, so I'll just blow it off with my air gun. Okay, so look here. Look at that. This was once as thick as this. I just burnt it too much, see? Look guys, look at all the detail it burnt away. That's what I was trying to say, right? Look at this, look, I, I carved this in there about, grew deep says about an inch and a half deep, but look, it's gone. So here's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna clean my screen, excuse me. Here's what I'm talking about. That dark spot is the hard layer of the grain. The white spot is the soft layer in the grain, okay? So hard, soft. That's why you don't want to use sandpaper when you're doing this, because uh, let me try and find a point here. It's, it's bumpy, guys. Hard, soft, hard, soft. So this, when you use that bristle thing, this stays, right? Because it's harder and it doesn't sand away, then this sounds, the soft spot sands away, right? So it's like a, it's like a ripple effect, it's bumpy. I thought I saw one, but um, anyways, so you can see here, you're gonna you're starting to see the grain pop. This is human error. I don't care. It might be a softer spot in the wood, right? Grain goes this way. So, but anyways, what I got to do now is spend another half an hour cleaning this. Because when you put, the, the brighter that you get, say this example, okay? Dark, bright. The brighter that you get that white there, 
the more you're gonna see your 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 uh, wood die color, okay? You'll see the more it will pop. Let's see the back here. Okay, so I still gotta spend. Uh, excuse me. I still gotta spend another half an hour getting this white stuff brighter, okay? So remember now till when I'm done. Three, two, one, gotta work. Okay guys, so there you go. There's a boat. I'd say it's about a, that's an hour of me cleaning it up. I wasn't gonna do in the uh, inside the eyes, but then I said, ah, screw it. I could still do it more and brighten it up a lot more up here, but now I'll show you what I'm talking about, like the stair effect. See that? Look at those bumps. Hard, soft, hard, soft. Look at them here. That's because the darker stuff is the harder winter part of the grain and the lighter stuff is the summer part of the grain. Haha, <laughs> that's it. Easy to explain just like that. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, powdered water-based wood dye. Okay, guys. So this stuff, like I said, comes from Lee Valley here in Canada. Here's the name of it if you want to take a screenshot. This color is a uh, brilliant red or something like that. Okay, they come in these little bags. Wood stain dye color. One ounce wet and poured. So it's Lee Valley here in Canada. And they ship worldwide. So I don't have an orange color. I want to make this guy orange. I don't have an orange color. So I'm going to mix some. Uh, you guys, you don't need. This stuff should last me like 10 years. It's like 15, 16 bucks for a pack like this. And you don't need that much of it, right? So I think I want to try less red. Okay. That's lots in there. And I'll mix some yellow in there and see if we can get some orange color. If it's more red, that's that's fine. It can be like a death pumpkin or, you know, Dr. Death Pumpkin or something. So I'll find the yellow and then I'll mix it in here. This is just water, guys. That's it. Okay, so here's the yellow. Whoa! So you mix it up. Who knows if it goes orange? I don't really care. Mix it up and you're supposed to let it sit for like a... Oh yeah, look, it's orange. Supposed to let it sit for like 20 minutes to let the guys, I guess, absorb into the wood, okay? So then I'll paint it on with this brush. Yep. Okay, guys, another thing I want to say about using something like this on the wood and doing it over and over and over again, it like um, almost burnishes the wood, so it kind of seals. It's hard to explain, but it kind of seals the wood, so it's harder to accept the stain. The wood's, maybe it closes the pores or something in the wood. I don't know. But anyways, okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Well, it's been two minutes since I've done this. And let's start putting this stuff on. Look, look at that friggin' color. Look at that friggin' color! <laughs> so you'll see here where I didn't sand as good. See how dark it is there? Okay. Now look how light it is here because I sanded more there with that flap thing, okay? Not as much, more. Okay guys, so look at those colors. I'd call that pretty Halloween-ish. Let me just put the camera there so you can get a good look at it. It's still wet, okay? So, um, yeah, you're not gonna see anything because the sun's coming in there, but so, what I'm gonna do now is dry this off with a heat gun because you guys remember that you're putting water on your piece of wood so you gotta dry it before you put your sealer coat on it, right? So for this one, I thought I'd try this uh, Mod Podge, okay? this I love the effect this stuff gives, right? This is like a glue, guys, but it's a sealant glue. It's it's pretty cool and it really doesn't, um, it, goes on, it goes on white but it uh, dries up crystal clear and it just gives like a super old cool effect like a petite like an antique effect to it kind of glossy but you'll see what I mean but I'm gonna dry this off here I'm gonna go home and my, my, my little carving shop at home and then I'm gonna put this uh, uh, on at home okay this one that I got here is not the outdoor one I drove 30 minutes to get this stuff today but the outdoor ones green they didn't have it but 
I talked to just Carve Rob about this stuff, and this stuff's been around for a long time, guys. Like, they used to, uh, you know, the ladies that used to do the uh, pottery and, like, the garden gnomes and stuff, this is the stuff that they used to put on for the uh, for their outdoor stuff. And Rob said that, you know, when he was a kid and his mom used to just use this stuff, he never saw, like, the gnomes looking funny or, you know, peeling up or stuff like that from this Mod Podge on here, right? Like I said, this isn't the outdoor one. They didn't have it. The outdoor one's green, but I'm still gonna put this stuff on it anyways. And um, because this pumpkin will be like an outdoor pumpkin, but it can sit under shelter, right? You know? So it's gonna get a lot brighter too when it dries up. Okay, so let me clean up here and then I'm gonna head, head home and uh, we'll put this stuff on at, uh, at home. Hey Chris, look what I went and picked up from the mail today. It's that gift that you made for me. I haven't it opened up yet, but after I'm done this pumping vi video, I'm gonna open it up and make a video of me opening it for um, to say thank you for whatever it is. Yep. So there's one of the socks that Ben's studio in the lake sent me over. And I wore it today and it stinks. And I've just put it over... Uh, over crybaby's face. I want him to smell a, a stinky sock for a few days. Yep. Okay. So here's the pumpkin. It feels pretty dry. It feels a little bit damp, but no big deal. But now you guys can really see like the layers in it now, right? Let's see if we can get you a better shot here. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about with the layers? So, well, like I said earlier, I'm going to use this Mod Podge. It's pretty killer stuff, and it lasts good outdoor. I was talking again with Just Carver about it, and he put uh, some on his birdhouse uh, beginning of the summer, and it's still, it's outdoor. It's got, it's enamel painted, but uh, the Mod Podge is holding up wicked. So this stuff is water-based glue sealer finish, and I like the color, I like the way this puts off a shine. So I got this brush here, this one, or this one. Like I said, this stuff comes off white, guys, and it dries, like, super fast. It probably not 100% cures super fast, but it dries super fast. Here's a couple little pumpkins, small little guys I did. I've already sold these. I got to drop them off to the lady tomorrow, and she's got some Arbutus wood she wants me to uh, look at to carve for her. I know Arbutus wood's hardwood. So anyways, I got to go to glue these cap, these, uh, these tops are made with uh, epoxy sculpt mixed with green paint. Just simple little carves, but these have the uh, Mod Podge on them. So you see that shine there? It just kind of uh, gives it a neat shine, not too shiny, right? Um, this was painted orange and I did a, a green wash on it and then Mod Podged it. So yeah, there's three silly little pumpkins. You guys want to see me carve more little pumpkins like this and do some epoxy sculpt arms and legs? I got one I got to put together that's twice the size of these and I got the legs already made with the epoxy sculpt and the arms and the little sprouts. Anyways, let's get on back on track here. Let's uh, get this pumpkin done. And another thing too guys with this Shosugi band stuff, you know, like since I've burnt the wood, this stuff's going to go darker. It's going to get darker again too. So this is going to be like a dark blood red when, I, when it's done I think. And this thing, I think it was like 20 bucks, but this stuff goes actually a real long way. You know, when you put it, when you put it on, you can see it's, well, it's white, right? So I got some poured in the cup here, put some on the brush. So that's how it goes on. And you can see where it's going on, right? So it dries really quick, but I think the actual proper cure time is like 72 hours. But this thing, once it clears, once it dries up, it gets so clear and, uh, Anyways, let me get this on. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I might have made a huge mistake. Because when you use this wood dye, all right, the wood dye doesn't sink that deep into the wood. It only sinks just a little bit. It basically just sits on the surface. So when I put this brush in the thing, right here, and then I put it on, I started putting it on up here, it start, started wiping around the color. It started diluting the color. See, I hope this will dry clear. So I stopped right here. I left it there, there in the eyes and up here. I completely stopped. 
I also picked up this. This was 20 bucks. Okay. This is spray on Mod Podge. It's called Ultra Spray on All in One Glue and Sealer Multi Surface. So I said, Man, what am I thinking? You can't get a brush and wipe this stuff on. You got you to gotta get some kind of spray sealer to seal it at first, right? Then you can put the Mod Podge on top of that if you want, right? So here's a little run here. But so anyways, I went around, I sprayed it, right? Now I'm just gonna let this sit overnight now. And hopefully this clears a little brighter than it is. It doesn't matter to me anyways. This is just a trial and error kind of thing, but it kind of pisses me off, but at least I stopped. You know guys, that's what I suggest you do. When you think something's not working, stop and correct correct your mistake really quick right so we'll see how this dries up for the morning time and uh we'll finish this off tomorrow just stop what you're doing and correct it right away don't keep going but you can see how this uh spray stuff worked pretty good but it's not cheap 20 bucks Just hopefully this gets a little darker up here and then I'll be okay with it. Okay, so all the Mod Podge dried. And you guys can see here, it, it you know, since I stopped what I was doing, it, it worked out, right? Okay, just a little bit darker here now than it would be here. Normally this right here would be this color. But so now I got the whole thing, Mod Podge, that spray worked pretty good. But it didn't give the effect See the gloss here? It's kind of glossy, but not really. It didn't really give the effect that this would give. So now what I'm gonna do, because I waited overnight, I'm gonna put this on and I'll be back and uh, we'll let her dry out and I'll be back. Dry baby, dry pumpkin man, dry. Okay guys, so the pumpkin's done and pretty well dry. There's still a few more spots that need to dry out, but that's the look that I was going for with that uh, Mod Podge. See how glossy it is? But it's a cool gloss. It's not just like a big shiny kind of gloss. You know, if I could, if, you know, it should explain itself. You know, it's just cool. It's just got that, a different effect. Okay, so when I was waiting for this to dry, I had to go to a lady's house she bought uh, three of those little pumpkins I did, and uh, she had a big piece of Arbutus that was her father's tree that she wants me to carve a wood spirit in, so I grabbed that, and I'll be doing that tomorrow. And it's right by Walmart, so I stopped at Walmart, and look what I found. Uh-oh. Outdoor. I found some outdoor Mod Podge. Oh yeah, wicked! Okay, so what else did I get? I got some... Uh, Matte Mod Podge, it's a spray on acrylic sealer. I wish I would have had this yesterday. I could have sprayed it first, and then I could have put that uh, stuff on, the Mod Podge on, right? So, but when I went to Walmart, I had to um, wear a friggin' mask. They supplied me a mask, but yeah, it's coming. We're gonna have to wear masks everywhere we go, guys. And I also just happened to get myself uh, Boston uh, cream pie cake. You like those Boston cream pie cakes, guys? Followed by a nice glass of milk. Oh, yeah. Sure do. I do anyways. Okay, so here's another little pumpkin I made. This guy, <laughs> he's made out of, uh, his arms are made out of that epoxy sculpt. I didn't do it on this channel, the epoxy sculpt stuff, guys, because I didn't think you'd want to see me doing that. It's a wood carving channel. But you see, it's a pumpkin on a shelf. Okay, so I got this. I, when I was in uh, by Walmart there, I stopped off at the beach, grabbed a couple little rounds. So I think I'm going to... He's not still not finished. I think he's going to be a pumpkin on a stump. What do you guys think? What do you think of the pumpkins, guys? You guys starting to carve the pumpkins? They're big sellers. I'll be able to sell this guy. I might keep this guy myself. Because, man, you know, like if you're going to carve pumpkins to sell... I wouldn't go this route because this took like, I'm telling you, like five or five hours. 
you know, and I can I can carve out a pumpkin in 20, 10, 15 minutes, right? But this one took a long time, but it just shows you, like, you know, how much you put more time into it and experiment, right? And the way things come out. You know, so that's that, guys. What do you think of the little silly little pumpkin? What do you think about the Shosugi band pumpkin? We'll talk to you later. I think this video is getting too long. See you later. See you later. See ya. Uh oh, mini pumpkins. Uh oh, big old piece of arbutus. I'll be carving this sucker tomorrow. Wood spirit twisting down. Whoosh. Whoosh.